Shout it loud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. As we close our eyes, I raise up our two hands to the Lord. And pray for ourselves loud and clear in this song. Oh, Holy Ghost, do it again, do it again in my life. Who is he that of all the Holy Ghost do it again? Oh. Holy Ghost do it again, again, do it again in my life. Oh, Pass me not to join to sin. If you're here, my own who cry, why all of us thou art born? Only do not pass me. Savior, 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 Savior. Savior, 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 am I humble? Hallelujah, why on all that thou art born? Holy, do the past. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 my humble crown. Hallelujah, why on all that thou art born? Holy, do the past and now is a hallelujah. Abom, our Lord. Lost, but Jesus found me, found the sheep when the strength. What is loving, Lord? Arms are hallelujah. 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 Loud and clear, sing it loud and clear. I am complete in him. 
complete, complete, complete in him. Hallelujah. I am complete. Sing it loud and clear. Oh, it's complete. Hallelujah. Praise, praise complete. Hallelujah. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. It's not by works of righteousness, but by His grace alone. Oh, I am complete. Oh, I'm complete. Oh, Yes, oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Yes, oh, yes, complete. Hallelujah. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. The fullness of the God of bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God of bodily dwelleth in the Lord. The fullness of the God and bodily dwelleth in our world. Oh, I am complete. Oh, it's complete. Oh. Hallelujah. Praise. Praise. Come. Hallelujah. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost of fire. Pentecost of fire. Fire burning in my soul. Fire burning in my soul. Holy Ghost of fire. Holy Ghost and fire, eh, by the cost of fire, eh, 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 fire burning in my soul. Send that fire, the Holy Ghost fire. Send that fire again, eh, the Holy Ghost. Oh, send the fire. Send the fire. Send the fire. Send the fire again. Yes, yes, the only. Run, 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 run. There's no mountain that I can climb for. Jesus climbs it all. There's no mountain that I can climb for. Jesus climbs it all down. There is no mountain that I can climb for. Jesus climbs it all. Oh, I'm complete. Oh, it's complete. Yes. Hallelujah. Complete. 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 Hallelujah. Complete. Thank you, Jesus. Now, without any accompaniment, sing this with your voice loud and clear. Jesus, blessed Jesus, I love your name. I Jesus, blessed Jesus, there is no other name I know. Sing it loud and clear, Jesus. Blessed Jesus, 
Is as sweet as love. It's just the same. Oh, praise His holy name. And it's not easy. I am not his soul. Wonderful name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Wonderful name, Jesus. There is no other name. I want you to declare this loud and clear. The more violently you declare it, the more your holy rage in this matter, the faster the touch of God upon you. Say, by your signs and wonders, O God, our Visit my life. Can I hear you saying this loud and clear? Can you say it again louder than that? In the name of Jesus, let there be divine visitation of each and every one gathered here tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. We we'll give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the adoration. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, we are gathered before you at this wonderful meeting. Meet us at the point of our need. Lay your hands upon our lives. Let your anointing fall upon each and every one gathered here. So that each person here will be candidate for uncommon testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat, beloved. God bless you. Tonight, I'd like you to look at at least three persons eye to eye. And the way you want this to happen in your life, that's the way you should confess the words I'm going to say now. Say, my friend, hear me and hear me well. I am for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus. Turn to three persons and say the same thing. Hear me and hear me well. I'm for signs and wonders. I am for signs and wonders. I am for signs and wonders. I am for signs and wonders. Thus say the Lord of all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sing it again, Lord, and Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Point to somebody and sing it. I am for signs and wonders.
In Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18, that's our topic for tonight, which you have already confessed to yourself. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. We're speaking tonight on I am for signs and wonders. And that's what our prayers will concentrate upon. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 18. Are we there? Let's read it together loud and clear. Behold, I am the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders. What do we mean by signs and wonders? Signs and wonders are events which involve immediate and powerful action of God. This action of God are demonstrated to reveal his character or purpose. Sometimes the Bible call it mighty works. It shows us that anywhere in the history of man, God is at work. A sign can be an an unexpected divine action. A sign will point people to the direction of God. While a wonder will describe God's supernatural activity, a special manifestation of his power. Signs can seek to bring people to believe. When the New Testament now begins to look at it, the New Testament begins to talk about signs and wonders. It talks about something unusual. Something that is a wonder to behold. It's unusual to behold. But God is bringing it to pass. When the Bible talks about signs and wonders, they are usually presented as divine activities. A wonder, beloved, thereby an event that cannot be explained by ordinary laws of nature. An event that is far superior to anything you have formerly seen or formerly recognized. God's special operation that cannot be explained or duplicated. That's why the Bible says God is a God who doeth wonders. God himself cannot multiply signs and wonders. God can do great things that is past finding out and wonders without number. God himself does great signs and mighty wonders. In fact, the Bible says his name is called Wonderful. So God himself is a God of wonders. So, as his children, we must be the children who are for signs and wonders. The wonderful thing about signs and wonders is that the Bible says we can pray for them to happen in our lives. We can pray for signs and wonders to take place in our destiny. Look at the same Isaiah chapter 7, verse 11. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 11. Isaiah 11, 7, 11 says, Ask thee a sign of the Lord thy God. Ask it either in the depth or in the height above. We are encouraged to ask for signs. We are encouraged to ask for wonders. The apostles in Acts chapter 4 verse 30, they asked for wonders. And it happened exactly as asked. Acts chapter 4 verse 30. Or let, me, or let me read it from verse 29. Acts 4, 29. Says, and now, Lord, he says, behold their threatenings, and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness he may speak thy word, by stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy only child, Jesus. What was the result of that prayer? And when they had prayed, the place was shaking where they were assembled together. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God with boldness. And verse 33, And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. And great grace was upon them. Our God is a God that doeth wonders. And is ready to do wonders with our lives. Because he is a God of wonders. When you check the position of the Almighty... Is a position of wonder. Psalm 91 verse 1 tells us. Psalm 91 verse 1. 
very popular song that we all know. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The Bible calls our God the Most High. By the time you got to Ecclesiastes chapter 5, Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 8. Ecclesiastes chapter 5, verse 8. If thou sayest the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in the province, marvel not at the matter. He that is higher than the highest regarded, and there be higher than they. God is a God who is higher than the highest. That's why I'm convinced that God is going to take somebody here to a very high place. If you are that person, shout it loud, hallelujah. Because he is higher than the highest. But as high as he is, the Bible says in Psalm 138, in Psalm 138, Look at what it says in verse 6. So I want to tell you verse 6. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. As high as God is, he respects the humble. He promotes the humble. So by position, God is a God of signs and wonders. By his power, we've talking about his position. Now, by his power, God is a God of signs and wonders. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. In Psalm 62, verse 11. Psalm 62, verse 11. God has spoken once, twice have I had this. The power belonged unto who? God. He is the Almighty. He has all powers. But as powerful as He is, He was talking about concerning the works of my hand, commanding me. And there was a time Joshua stood and was fighting in a war and he was trying to get dark. But he stood and said, You son, stay there. You moon, stay there until I finish this battle. And he commanded this man, a, a human being like us, spoke to the sun, spoke to the moon, and they stood still. By his power, which is greater than all powers, Joshua was able to key into that power to steal the sun, to steal the moon. That's why I know that when somebody here speaks today and command whatever wants to escape from their breakthrough to stand, that it shall be so. By location, God is a God of signs and wonders. By location, God is a God of signs and wonders. In First Timothy chapter one, First Timothy chapter one verse seventeen, First Timothy chapter one verse seventeen. Now unto the King Eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory. Forever and ever. Amen. By location, God is invisible. But although it's invisible, to show you that God is a God of signs and wonders, by the time we get to Proverbs chapter 6, by the time you get to Proverbs chapter 6, and you see the verse 17, Proverbs chapter 6, verse 35, that it will not regard any ransom. Neither will he rest content, though thou givest many gifts. You cannot bribe him. As invisible as he is, he says, if you begin to look for me, and you move close to me, although you cannot see me, I will move close to you. In everything then, God is for signs and wonders. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 25, Daniel chapter 6, verse 25. Then King Darius wrote unto all people, nations, and languages that dwell in the heart, Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel. 
for he is the living God and steadfast forever. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. And his dominion shall be even unto the end. Verse 27 says, He delivered and rescued. And he worked signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. Who had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. He does wonders in heaven and in earth. So his works in heaven and on earth shows that God is a God of signs and wonders. Even on land, God too is a God of signs and wonders. The Bible says he took dust and he made man wonderfully out of that dust. He took ordinary dust and made it a wonderful human being. As a God of signs and wonders. That's what he did in Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Don't bother to go there. Then in John chapter 9, there was a man who was born without eyes. John chapter 9, a man was born without eyes. Let us read a little bit of this episode. John chapter 9 from verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. And the disciple asked him, saying, Master, who did sin, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? Jesus answered, Neither had this man seen nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. And in verse 6, When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground, and made clay of the spittle, and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay, and he said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore, and watched, and came seen. This man was born without eyes, but he put mud in his eyes. He created new eyes from an ordinary mud. That's why I know that if there is anyone here that an organ in your body is defective, or the doctor has said it's no longer functioning well, that's why I know that you can get a replacement tonight by the power in the blood of Jesus. So God took mud, sand, dust, and he performed his signs and wonders in it and created a new set of eyes for that man. God does wonder even with water. He spoke to the waters in Genesis chapter 1 verse 20 and abundance came out of the waters. He spoke to Peter, put your net by the, by the, by the, by the, by the sea. He spoke to the water and the fishes came and entered Peter's net. He spoke to water in John chapter 2. The water became wine. He was walking also on top of the waters. He suspended the law of gravity. He suspended that law. That's why I know tonight, beloved, that every law that God must suspend for you to get your breakthroughs will be suspended today. They will be suspended today. They will be suspended today. They will be suspended today. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, God makes impossibilities to become major testimonies. God does wonder even with the wind that is blowing around us. He said he blew the, his breath into the nozzle of man and man became a living soul. And then in Ezekiel 37, when those dry bones were in the valley, he said Ezekiel prophesied to the wind that they may blow upon the dry bones. The wind blew and the bones joined. The winds blew and life came to the bones. That same wind that blew upon the bones and the bones became alive. That wind will blow into your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. When that wind blows, dry bones. By dry bones, we mean helpless situation. Situation that is practically dead will begin to come alive. And I decree by the decree of heavens that any spare part that anybody needs today here shall be deposited into your body by the power of God. Jesus spoke to the winds and the storms and they stood still. That is why I also know that every storm in your life shall be silenced by the power of God. So God performs wonders by if by fire. 
The Bible says a fire goes before him. Elijah called down his fire. God is a God of signs and wonders. God performs wonders with animals. They threw Daniel into the lion's den. And God told the animals to go keep quiet. God told them to keep quiet. You can't touch this one. But when the men who threw that line in were thrown in themselves, the Lord said, okay, lions, <laughs> your food has arrived. You find this in Daniel chapter 6. And the lions ate them up. I know something tonight, beloved. The lion of your father's house shall be surprised tonight. God could perform signs and wonders with birds. He sent birds to go and feed, feed Elijah. God can perform wonders with fish. He can perform wonders with angels. He can perform wonders with the weather. Because God is a God of signs and wonders. You and I, who are his children, are supposed to be for signs and wonders. That's why I know that you can be a spectacle for heaven, a, a signs and wonders for heaven. That's what the Bible is telling us in Psalm 7, verse 7. Psalm 7, 7. Psalm 7, 7. So shall the congregation of the people compass thee about. For their sex, therefore return thou on earth. That is, God can now make you to be for signs and wonders. God can make you a wonder. So people gather around you and turn you to a cinema show. Just like it's written in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 9. 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 9. Says this. 1 Corinthians 4 9. For I think that God has set forth us the apostles last. As it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world, unto angels, unto men. Spectacle unto the world, unto angels, and unto men. God can make you a wonder. God can turn you to a wonder. God can make you to be for signs and wonders. That was what happened to the lame man at the beautiful gate. Those who brought him there in the morning didn't know that he was going to walk home that day. Those who brought him there that day did not know that his God of, his, the God of signs and wonders was going to use him as a testimony. Immediately he jumped up and ran into the temple. There was commotion in the temple. Because everybody knew this man by the gate. He had been there for years. It became a wonder. When you become for signs and wonders, your life becomes a testimony. When you become for signs and wonders, you experience miracles that will give birth to other miracles. When you, are, when you become for signs and wonders, fellow human beings will look at you and say, this man is a spirit. This is not a human being. God is still in that business of doing supernatural Unbelievable to men, uncommon signs and wonders. A man was coming from a meeting. In that meeting, they asked them to bring handkerchief for prayers. And they prayed on that handkerchief. They said, if you find a sick person, go and lay the handkerchief on the sick person. Or if something is not working well in your life, go and lay this handkerchief upon it. So he took his handkerchief and was going home. He brought some money home from work. So he brought it to church and he was taking it back home. All of a sudden, as he was about to enter close to about five streets away from his home, some arm robbers accosted him. And he said, bring, bring the money, bring the money. What else do you have? He said, ah, this is trouble. If they collect this money, I will end up using my salary to pay it. He said, Father, what do I do now? And he heard the voice of the Holy Spirit. He said, son, you have a handkerchief in your hand? He said, yes. Stretch it on the floor. And stand on it. This man took the handkerchief, put it on the floor, stepped on it, and instantly he found himself back into his room. And the arm robbers did not see anybody to talk to again. The God of signs and wonders 
had transported him by the kind of aeroplane that took Philip away to Azotus back to his room just by standing on that anointed handkerchief. God is still in that business. When he was sharing this testimony, others were looking at him as a spirit. They, was look, they were looking at him as a spirit. When you become for signs and wonders, fellow human beings will look at you like a spirit. When you become for signs and wonders, listen to this word. Terrible tragedies will happen to those who are challenging God in your life. Many times, the anointing of God on a person's life is known by what happens to his enemies. Terrible things happen to those who are challenging God in your life. When you are for signs and wonders. When you become for signs and wonders, you become a pace setter. A pace setter. Whatever business you are doing, you become a pace setter. Others will try and be copying what you are doing. When you become for signs and wonders, you stand out in progress and achievement. When you become for signs and wonders, you become the delight of heaven. When you become for signs and wonders, the hands of the enemy will become too short to fight with you. I know there is somebody here tonight who will declare that I am for signs and wonders in the name of Jesus. Say it several whole times. When you become for signs and wonders, you qualify as one of those men in the Bible who refuse to die. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they are men who refuse to die. Men wanted to kill them, but they could not. They will become like Daniel. They could not kill him. You become like Elijah. They could not kill him. When you become for signs and wonders, you become a reference point for amazing testimonies. A reference point for amazing testimonies. When you become for signs and wonders, you become a film show in heaven. And just looking at you. You become a spectacle even to angels. When you become for signs and wonders, what will be happening in your life? Men and women will want to serve your God. Just like Kim Nebuchadnezzar declared, everybody should now serve the God of Daniel. When you become for signs and wonders, God will be mightily glorified in your life. When you become for signs and wonders, by you, nations of the earth will be blessed. When you become for signs and wonders, association with you will cause people to be blessed. When you become for signs and wonders, your presence will command respect and honor. When you become for signs and wonders, you become a human gold mine. When you become for signs and wonders, your words matter in heaven and on earth. When you become for signs and wonders, your name becomes a terror to the kingdom of darkness. When you become for signs and wonders, men will be quoting your words. When you become for signs and wonders, your name becomes a household name. When you become for signs and wonders, you alone will begin to rewrite your family history. I know there is someone here who will rewrite his family history for good. If you are that person, shout a loud hallelujah. When you become for signs and wonders, you become the giant killer and a deliverer of your people. When you become for signs and wonders, your life becomes a challenge to others. When you become for signs and wonders, men and women try to copy what you are doing. They come and study you to copy what you are doing. When you become for signs and wonders, your life will magnetize people to you. When you become for signs and wonders, there will be constant open heavens open heavens upon your life. When you become for signs and wonders, men will compete to do you good. When you become for signs and wonders, whenever somebody wants to fight you or there is a war against you, angels will arise to defend you and to protect you. When you become for signs and wonders, every good thing you do prospers in your hand. When you become for signs and wonders, you become a force to reckon with. 
This is a very, very serious matter. This is why this evening here, there is a very serious battle cry that we should cry. The battle cry originated from Moses. Anytime the ark of the Lord was moving from one place to the other, Moses has a battle cry, a spiritual national anthem that he will say. And then the ark will begin to move when Moses has spoken. In Numbers chapter 10, verse 35. Our major prayer today is this one. It's a cry for a change. A cry for progress. A cry for promotion. A cry for signs and wonders. In Numbers chapter 10, verse 35. And it came to pass, when the ark set forward, that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thy enemies be scattered. And let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousands of Israel. A prayer to set forth into battle. And a prayer to relax from battle. David now took up the battle cry. In Psalm 68, Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1. Psalm 68 verse 1 says this. Let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let them also that hate him flee before him. Let God arise is a very serious battle cry. It is a cry for God to rise up in signs and in wonders. That's why when the ark of God got to the battlefront, the children of Israel who were formerly defeated, they shouted for joy. Anytime the camp was moving and the ark was moving, Moses would say, let God arise. There is somebody here tonight as you begin to say, let God arise, let God arise, let God arise. Every long term problem shall disappear and flee. Let God arise. It's a cry for change. Let God arise. It's a cry for forward progress. Let God arise. Shows that there is a God who arises. Let God arise. Means that God's nature is to rise up. When he says let God arise. It means don't hold God down. Don't hold him down. You must allow him to arise. By allowing every unbelief to die. Every unbelief to die. There is no situation in anybody's life there that God has not addressed before. There is no miracle here that anyone needs that the God of signs and wonders cannot provide. Let God arise. It's a cry of God's presence. A cry of God's provision. A cry of God's protection. A cry of God's power. A cry of God's purpose. A cry that would lead the helpless into victory and prosperity. A cry that will be a succor and a comfort as a father of the fatherless. A cry of confidence because God is at the head of the victory procession. Let God arise. Let him arise. No, don't hinder him. Don't prevent him. Don't delay him. Don't place obstacles in his way. Give him a release. Give him an opportunity. In the warfare that we are fighting day and night, our greatest weapon is still God himself. And whatsoever battle you face, beloved, immediately God appears at the battle front, the battle is over. The battle may struggle for years. But the day God arises, the day the God of signs and wonders arises, that's the end of the battle. As many people as are here tonight, and you want the God of signs and wonders to arise in your life, shout a Jericho destroying hallelujah. Let the hallelujah be loud and clear. Let it be loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, when the God of signs and wonders arises, he responds to simple, simple 
childlike faith. It responds to simple childlike faith. And every man, the Bible says, has a measure of faith. A woman went to the market, the her salary for the month. Normally, herself and her husband, they divide what to do with the salaries. The husband gives money for the children to go to school and to pay school fees. The woman's money is used for food. So what she does is to buy everything she wants to buy in bulk. So that month she took the whole salary to the market to buy food. She, the, 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 she had plenty of food right there by the side of the street. And she stopped a taxi driver. And this, the, she loaded the food at the back, at the boot. It was full. They began to load it to the back seat. It was full. So she had, she now had to turn around to go and enter from the driver's side to the only vacant seat left. But before she could cross that side, the man moved away. She looked at the taxi going. She said, what? The whole of this money for this month is what this man is going away like this? She said, oh God of signs and wonders! Arrest him. That was the prayer. She was looking for her phone to call her husband that well, this is what has happened. She had not left that bus stop when the taxi man came back. I said, hey, you people at the bus stop, you are still standing beside this woman. She's a ghost, she's a ghost, she's a ghost, she's a ghost. And she got, he got down and began to drop everything inside the car. Drop everything. I said, hey, now I've dropped your things. Now, tell that ghost that has entered by my side, by my side, the seat, to come down now, to go... Go down from inside the car. The sister himself did not see anybody sitting on that seat. But God of signs and wonders had arrested him. I know there is somebody who is for signs and wonders today. If you are that person, shout another loud hallelujah. Simple, childlike faith simple childlike faith sometimes when we have a meeting like this and we say there is someone here it doesn't mean one person it could mean two thousand it could mean one thousand that one person because that one person is an individual matter even if the word is not meant directly for you and you have a need in your life you can key in to that what i'm telling you tonight is this since our God is a God of signs and wonders, we as his children too should be for signs and wonders. All we need to do is to approach it without childlike faith. The faith of a small child. A house was burning and the downstairs had caught fire. Everybody had escaped. Apart from little John who was sleeping. Little boy. And when the heat of the fire woke John up, he came to the window and saw people there and the fire brigade people. They said, jump down, John, jump. We shall catch you. John said, no, no, no. It's okay. Climb on the window first. He climbed up the window. John, jump. Said, no, no. He refused to jump. The fire was getting close. It was at that level his father came. So when the father came, Joshua said, John, jump without even looking he, ju he jumped believing that that man his father will not allow him to drop to the ground to hurt himself that is the childlike faith herein lies our problem many of us are suffering from over familiarity with God is they will have commonized God and sometimes when we come for meetings, we believe that, well, until somebody does something very strange, something very, very uh, uh, supernatural in the, with his hand, with his leg, nothing can happen. Some believe that until somebody laid hands on them, nothing can happen. That is not childlike faith. A childlike faith believes that, well, this meeting, I must get something out of it. One way or the other. Nobody needs to lay hands on me. Nobody needs to sprinkle water on me. Just let me key into the blessings of the Almighty God. Say, Peter, throw your net by the right. Say, Master, we have, we have toiled all night and caught nothing. Oh, well, because of your words, I will do it. 
The other man already washing his net. He threw it in again. In childlike faith. Childlike faith. A miracle happened instantly. God is still in that business. In the dictionary of the Almighty, the word impossibility does not exist. If you know you are for signs and wonders here tonight, and you want a divine encounter, you want the wind of his power to blow upon you, and for dry bones to come alive, rise up on your feet now, and all eyes closed. But you see, if you are here tonight, you are not born again, you have not surrendered your life to Jesus, you have a wonderful opportunity to surrender your life to Jesus. Wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, just raise up your right hand. Raise it up very well. Say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you tonight. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Who said I should pray with me? Immediately we close. Let's find a way to the altar here so that we can pray more with you. Listen. I don't know what you are going through. It may be a battle for your health. It may be a battle for your marriage. It may be a battle for anything. But what the Bible says, you and the children the Lord has given to you shall be for signs for wonders. That's what the Bible says. I did not write it. If one man can stand and speak to the sun and the moon, if a man can stand on an anointed handkerchief and it disappeared, if a womb blessed woman whose womb has been taken out can have a baby, if somebody has been declared dead can come alive, if somebody was already deposited into the mortuary could wake up from the dead, if a person who has been written that he has failed an examination could pray and the next week another letter came and said, sorry, we made a mistake, you passed. If a child born without correct number of toes could suddenly wake up one morning and the toes are now correct, then your case is nothing to worry about. The doctors do not have the last say. The lawyers do not have the last say. Because the God of science and wonders is able to suspend every law of nature so that you can receive your miracle. You will shout this loud and clear. Problems in my life! Hear the noise from heaven. The Lord ordained terrifying noises against the Syrian army. And they disappeared. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? I want you to emphasize the noise by making noise with it. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Scatter! In the name of Jesus. Masekatenda It is important for you to raise up your voices. Something must happen in your life today. Basso Procatende Candia, Ribo Sotonde Kaya Boschenta Rabacampa, Mana Ribo Sotonde Kaya Boschenta, Catera Bosoponde Kaya. Just Hear the noise from heaven. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Yes. Whatsoever situation you brought here, exercise a childlike faith now. Believe that tonight is that night when the problems shall be terminated. Say this again loud and clear. Stubborn powers behind my problems. Is that the loudest who can shout it, beloved? 
there is a woman here from the eastern part of this country who needs to pray this prayer with boiling anger so that the enemy while walking against your marriage will be disgraced. Can you shout this again loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Pateka setakaya bo shente raba. Manari bo sopo. Deketere bo ko shente rabo ko laba. Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. Something is happening, something is happening. Dakatera bo shente rabo ko yaba. Aha, 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 aha. Jesus, then we pray. Yes. 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 I've tormented you for too long. The power has changed hands now. Yes. Ah. Father, let the anointing fall upon every right hand here. So that when that hand is laid on any part of the body, whatsoever needs to be replaced, let it be replaced. Whatsoever needs to be repaired, let it be repaired. Whatever needs to be repaired, let it be repaired. Whatsoever needs healing, let it experience the healing power of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In childlike faith now. If you have any infirmity on your body. Use that hand to slap the place seven times. Slap it seven times. Believe in the Lord as you do it. Just seven times. Stop now. Check the place. Put your faith into action. That's right. By beginning to do what you have not been able to do before. Put your faith into action. That's right. Look at what is happening. Replacement is going taking place. The murmur in the heart has ceased. The swelling in the head and under the armpit. The stony object in the womb and in the legs. Have been completely melted off. That adult bedwetting has been cancelled completely. The serpent power moving about in the head has been silenced. That's right. Do what I'm not able to do before. We're waiting for you now. Check the body very well. Something is still happening. That anointing is still moving to break every yoke. 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 You the yoke of mommy water. Yoke of marine spirit. Upon that sister. Break now. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yes, I make that place uncomfortable for you. You can't hide. Yes, it has gone. Yes, you can't believe it, but it's gone. It's gone. That's right. Check your body. Begin to do what I'm not able to do. Immediately you find that that disease condition has disappeared. Quietly find your way to the altar here. Don't allow the devil to put the problem back. Quietly find your way to the altar. Quietly find a way to... You can't find the problem anymore. Find a way to the altar very, very quickly. That's right. Now, we enter into our arena of prayer. An arena of aggressive prayer. An arena of blind Bartimaeus kind of shouting. And like I was telling you some Sundays ago, the shouting side is the winning side. Oh God of signs and wonders! Allah! Can you shout that loud and clear? Make it louder than that. This is my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Put 
Masapa, Barabo Kaponde Kata, the Ribo Saponde Kayabo Shentayaba. Oh, yes, Spirit of the Living God, move, 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 move. Masekaya bo shente rabo kolaba, bakatenda kaya bo shente rabo kolaba, bana kaponde kete rabo se, deke pola bo shente rabo kopola ba, bakaponde ke shente ya bo shente ya ba. Aha 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 aha. Yes 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 yes. In Jesus name we pray. And someone here tonight, you have been working for years, but no promotion. Within the next 48 hours, your promotion will manifest. 20 sisters scattered around there that the enemy has decreed that you will not marry. Right there where you are, the arrow fired into your life is coming out. And going back to the senders. Oh, yes. Declare this louder than anyone in this large auditorium. I am for signs of wonder. Don't say the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Don't say the Lord. Don't say the Lord. I am for signs and wonders. Don't say the Lord. Don't say the Lord. Don't say the Lord. Jesus. Something is up over there. How is a creative miracle taking place? Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. <laughs> yes, that migraine headache has been taken out of the head. Five persons here, your ancestors worship serpents, and the serpents have been doing terrible things in your body. The one in the head has been taken out, one in the eyes has been taken out, the one in the chest has been taken out. The one in the stomach is been taken out. The one in the reproductive organ is been taken out. Silence now. Yes. That sister you are the back there. The Lord has done an awesome thing in your body. Don't be shy. Come forward now. Don't let the enemy put the problem back and multiply it by seven. Say signs and wonder that will announce my destiny. Locate me by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, I am. 
Yes. That person, they have been passing you from coffin to coffin. Tonight, the coffin is broken to pieces. Somebody has been having witchcraft sponsored pile. This night, you have received your healing. Somebody whose fallopian tubes were cut off. This night, two new ones have grown back in position. That person with uncontrollable urine. Go and check now. That assist there. That person with the issue of blood. Check now. The issue of blood has vanished. Aha. Before this coming Sunday, somebody is having catapulting promotion. A strange personality enter the person through a strange wind. Right there where you are. The wind of the Almighty is blowing upon you now. And the evil wind has gone out. Aha. Now I want you to focus on any situation that is bothering your life. Any situation that you know is getting you worried. I want you to focus on it now. As you focus on it, you will now shout this loud and clear. Shout it loud and clear. Oh God of signs and wonders! Can you shout that loud and clear? And let my miracles locate me in the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise your two hands to heaven and say this loud and clear. Signs and wonders from heaven. Pursue me and overtake me. In the name of Jesus. Pursue me and overtake me. In Jesus' name we pray. God of the suddenness, arise for my sake in the name of Jesus. Arise for my sake in Jesus' name. We pray as many are going home tonight, they'll begin to notice a change in their lives. Some will be experiencing their miracles as they are going home. Others will experience it when they sleep tonight in their dreams. Some will wake up and see that the signs and wonders have happened to them. Let us share the grace in fellowship.